My name is Ivan. I'm one of uh, Astier de Villard designers. My name is Benoit. Uh, I'm one of the designers of Astier de Villard. Oh, from the beginning. We love our shop. We think it's very special, magic. We opened the shop in 2000. We probably saved the shop from destruction. It started in the 18th century and we have kept as much as possible as it was. The shop has been very inspiring for us. It's really the need to fill the shop to make it uh, looks nice that we want to do new products. We have a very good team in our Paris workshop. We have French artisans as well as many Tibetan. We are maybe more inspired by things a little bit forgotten or not very well considered. So this is how we do the ceramic. We like things which would be for other unfinished. This comes from two reasons. One, we didn't know how to do it properly. But on the other hand, it comes from the taste we have for roughness, so we like some imperfection. So we wouldn't have been happy to learn how to do it properly. Perhaps the first um, object, object mm -hmm. it's an uh, object for still life. In the beginning it's not uh, functional. We are not very functional yes. at the beginning. If it's beautiful, it's okay. <laughs> We got on instantly with uh, Françoise Caron, maybe because we had no idea about fragrance business. So we came with very simple ideas and she liked that. We liked the idea of a still journey. The fact you stay at home and you start traveling a bit like lost in your thoughts and in your memory. So, the candles are always related with places, cities or sometimes streets. like typesetting. It's almost like, you know, calligraphy or any kind of art. Monsieur Vin is the last big typesetter in France. If Monsieur Vin stops the printer, we are really in trouble because we don't want to print it with another technique and no one else is able to do it. I think everything we do is a little fragile like that because for the, for the ceramics it's the same problem. We do notebooks. We love notebooks for many reasons. Of course, because we draw all the time. For us, it's also the opportunity to do some abstract work. The opportunity to work on color, vibration, it's very, very interesting for us. 
Our notebooks are all different. You will never find twice the same. Whatever we do, we like to create things which look unique, almost alive. Yeah, it's the same with the ceramic. We are very linked with uh, Tibetan. It's like a very ancient, uh, fantastic culture. We feel very linked with that. Every person does, for example, a cap from the beginning to the end, all the details. They add a little bit of life. It's like, you know, a bit of their energy goes in the plate, so they sign it. and. You can see often the personality. They are definitely craft people. C'est des artisans, oui, les, les Tibétains. Oh, oui. Yeah, they are really craftsmen. At the beginning, we covered the ceramic with uh, wax or we left it raw because people start asking, hey, can we put uh, food? We had to put a glaze. The most simple was the white glaze. White was considered inappropriate for a table and we liked this violent white on the black soft clay. It seemed to us a very simple and very nice contrast. Beno and me, we work together all the time. It's complicated. It's a question of balance. Basically, our idea is then when we agree, the both of us about something, it must be okay. Baltus is very important for Asya Gilat. It's like the secret grandfather or something like that. Baltus is uh, one of uh, the only painter of the 20th century who's been interested by what was neglected and forgotten, just following his passion. And in that, we feel a bit similar. Setsuko is a Japanese artist who was the wife of Baltus. So she's living in Switzerland. For Setsuko, art is, a, is really a lifestyle. It's really in everything. Mm. 
two canals are doing uh, any kind of uh, plate dishes. We are also going to do some fragrance with her. Around Grand Chalet, where Setsuko is living, also around Baltus uh, studio, are a lot of lime tree, and uh, it's absolutely delicious. Collaboration, it's a good uh, way to, to be with friends. <laughs> we work a lot with Shakespeare and Company in Paris. We love the bookshop, which is absolutely fantastic. We like A la Mère de Famille, which is the oldest shop in Paris, so chocolate and candies. The collaboration with uh, John Darren. It's interesting because John has such an enormous range of images and his universe is so wide. It was the first time we could really put images and colors on our white ceramic. We like doing collaboration, working with all these people. It's like then they get inside uh, our world. They become us, we become them. In the end, it creates a whole universe, like a family. You see, everything is connected. We started Asia Dilat in 1996. Are we happy? Yeah, yeah we're happy. Asia it's, it's, Dilat is like uh, have a baby. Now it's uh, practically uh, an adult. Five years ago, it's more difficult. It's like, uh, when I said that was a teenager, we had no trouble. <laughs> when it's baby, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, this is true. We don't try to be rational in the production. Our goal is to do beautiful things. Things we are proud of. Just that. We're not really businessmen. We do business, it happens, we do business, but we, we mainly do things we find fun. We really believe if you don't have, I don't know if it's the good expression, but if you don't have pleasure doing what you do, you do something wrong, something people are not going to like. You have to share with other people the pleasure you have doing things, sharing an experience, and maybe then other people are going to find the things interesting.